Hey everyone, so different scenery, obviously. It's not in my usual spot. I just kind of felt the need to share what's been going on over the past uh, few weeks, mainly the past couple months, but really the past few weeks um, in regards to my health. Um, now, I do want to start off this video and let you know I am okay. Um, I don't want any of you worrying or anything like that. That's not the point of this video. I'm not trying to like gain sympathy or, you know, make you all worried or anything like that. It's really just because this is something that has been on my mind for so long and it's like consumed me with what's been going on and it's been hard, but luckily things are getting better. Um, so I really just kind of wanted to come on here and let you know what's been going on and hopefully also inspire or kind of get you to take a look at your own health, especially us small business owners. I feel like we put our health on the back burner, both our physical health and our mental health. And I feel like because in the past I've talked so much about mental health, I feel like I'm, you know, it's fine if I talk about physical health. I was kind of like thinking, should I share what's been going on? Should I not? Like, I just wasn't sure because I don't want to share too much, but I also really want you to um, know what's been going on and also hopefully um, help inspire you to take measures to um, kind of elevate your own health and then maybe see a doctor if that's something that you've been putting off because I totally know how that feels. Um, but basically, I just kind of wanted to share what's been going on. So basically everything kind of started going downhill, so to speak, about two months ago. So it was early June and um, I actually had seen a dermatologist for some skin concerns that I was having. And I was actually diagnosed with an autoimmune disease called hydrogenitis superativa. And um, some of you are probably like, what is that? And if you have it, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. It's also called HS for short. And essentially what it is, is I believe it's inflammation in the sweat glands. Whatever it is, it causes um, very painful boils, kind of looking things um, that pop up on your skin, mainly um, in like my underarm area and then on my chest as well. Um, I've been going through this for years on and off. Um, I'd probably say the last decade, I've really noticed this happening. And um, that was very surprising, was not at all expecting to hear that. Um, it made sense considering my past and what I've been going through with that. Um, so that was kind of the first thing that happened. And then um, fast forward a little bit to late June, I went to one of the motorcycle race events with Chris and we were outside in very high temperatures. I think it was like 102, 103. And I just remember I was sweating all day long for three days straight. And then when we got back from the event, um, I went on a walk with Brody that next morning. And when I came back, um, there was actually a couple things that I noticed. One, um, I was having joint pain in my hips, which I don't wanna say that it just started at that moment because I had felt it before on walks previously, but I had really felt it. And then also I had broken out and some hives, so a little bit on my arms, and then I also felt it on my neck and the back of my head. And that wasn't insanely unusual because I have had that happen before. I know my sister has gone through that before. Um, and in the past years ago, I know that on and off, I've experienced that at certain times in my life. So it wasn't like a huge red flag for me, but starting at that point, um, I just started feeling off just started feeling not good joint pain muscle pain um really bad fatigue like just insanely tired um and also almost like a dizzy lightheaded almost like that i'm gonna pass out kind of feeling um i started feeling that a lot um and uh i wasn't really sure what was going on i just kind of kept thinking like oh maybe it's just because of the time of the month or maybe it's you know because of the I started taking probiotics and I thought maybe it's because of the probiotics or 
whatever it was. So I started just trying to figure out what was causing all these issues and everything started kind of getting worse. So my hives were getting worse. Um, last week was actually the worst it ever was. So last week I had walked outside um, to I think check the mail with Brody and I came back in and just from that short amount of time I broke out in hives. Um, I went to the store and came back, I broke out in hives. And um, when I say broke out in hives, I mean like all over my arms, all over my legs, my back, my stomach, all over my chest, my neck, even on my face a little bit. I had worked out uh, for just 20 minutes on the treadmill and I'd broken out on my face um, and all over my neck, all these like hive dots everywhere. Um, very uncomfortable, <laughs> by the way. And of course it freaked me out because I'm like, I don't know what's going on with me. Um, and also progressively alongside of that was the fatigue as well as I started feeling numbness and my fingers and my toes. So I started feeling numbness probably from like half of my arm to my hands and my fingers um, was progressively getting worse with this numbness feeling. My anxiety was through the roof, which I know now was not helping the numbing feeling. Um, and overall just feeling really, really crappy. I, I don't know if I've ever felt that bad before in my life of just feeling, first of all, beyond emotional. I cried like every day, just trying to figure out what's going on. Um, it's not an emotional video. I'm not crying. I'm over crying. I'm all cried out, not happening anymore. Um, so basically I decided um, that on Saturday morning I'd woken up and the numbness, I woke up to the numbness like it, it was just like prickly, tingly, numbness feeling in my hands um, and like my feet. And I was like, there's just something wrong with me. So I decided to go to urgent care. And thankfully I saw a really nice doctor who calmed me down. I was able to get blood work done. Um, still waiting on the results of that, but it made me feel so much better and she, reassured me to not stress out about it. She actually was very um, adamant about low stress, get your anxiety under control, just very, very stress-free if you can. And that obviously has been something that I have struggled with my whole life is anxiety. I'm not very good at controlling my anxiety. I can let it get the best of me a lot. So her being so calming and very nice and not freaking out and it just calmed me down so much to where I was able to just have a clearer head calm down I actually even felt better after leaving there um, because of course the height of my anxiety alongside I just felt like I started feeling numb everywhere like when I was waiting in the waiting room I'm like oh my god it's spreading like it's going everywhere but really that was just anxiety taking its toll on me essentially so um, I left, I felt a lot better. Um, and in my head I was thinking maybe it had something to do with like electrolytes. So I just started drinking Pedialyte every day and I drank it that night and a little bit the next morning and then slowly but surely the numbness started going down. Now, looking back now, I don't know if that was because of an electrolyte issue or because um, I was able to get my anxiety under control. Because I know last week my anxiety was at like an all-time high so I don't know if maybe that was again exacerbating the symptoms that I was feeling um, but essentially where I am right now is I still feel fatigue um, especially when it gets to be like midday so it's 1 30 right now I'm feeling okay obviously like my eyes I'm looking at myself I'm like I definitely do look tired um, and what I've been doing is I did research a little bit on the hives and from what I can see, um, it has to do with something called cholinergic urticaria, um, which is like hives based on working out or a higher rise in body temperature. And I honestly don't know if all of these symptoms are completely related. I have no idea. I don't know if it's just like a coincidence that they're all happening at the same time or if maybe they are connected. Maybe they are connected. I'm not sure because I haven't seen anybody talk about tingly hands or feeling fatigue or feeling that like pass out feeling. 
um, but I've been trying to just work out almost every day. I know that sounds probably counterintuitive, um, but I've been noticing that the more I sweat and the more I sweat and the more I work out, the less and less the hives get. Like I worked out this morning and I barely broke out at all. I did feel a little bit. The most that I feel it when it starts is I feel this like itchy tingle on the back of my head and oh my gosh the hives are so itchy <laughs> they are so itchy and they drive me crazy and i think that it kind of helps me push through the workout um to just try to sweat as much as possible um because i use that anger to fuel me through the workout but um i've also looked into infrared saunas or just saunas in general um i've been doing a lot of research about how maybe it has to do with something with the liver so I don't know. I am seeing a dietitian and I was able to talk to her about just other things going on, other symptoms and things that could be connected or like autoimmune stuff and to help even with my HS with diet and yeah. So, um, it's just a lot. And I, again, I, I always tell myself and I've been telling myself this, this whole time, it could be so much worse. And I know that I give myself the permission to be upset and, you know, ask the whole, like, why is this happening and what's going on and what's wrong with me? Um, but also acknowledging the fact that it could be so much worse. And I'm so happy even just within the last week on how much better I feel. So really from Sunday to today, which is Thursday, I've felt so much better. Um, I still get the, the tingliness every so often, but for the most part, that is almost completely gone. And again, I don't know if that's because of the electrolytes or because my stress has reduced, but uh, essentially what I am basically working on right now is just doing as many things that can reduce my stress as possible and not doing things that's going to increase my anxiety or stress me out. And I know that's easier said than done, but I am going to try my best to follow through with that, um, as well as I am making a lot of dietary changes, um, going gluten-free, dairy-free, um, trying to reduce the amount of refined sugars I eat, um, and also just like, adding in so many more vegetables, working out even though I do get hives when I work out, I have been feeling better and I feel so much better when I'm done. It elevates my mood and I know it's super good for me to still do. Um, so that is what's been going on with me over the past um, like couple months. And I'm very hopeful with uh, figuring this all out and feeling better and feeling like normal or myself again because that is definitely the way to um kind of define this whole like past few weeks is that i have been feeling so off not myself extremely tired um and um yeah so just trying to get this all figured out also i apologize if you've been hearing the truck uh with the ac there's no way i could sit in here without the ac um and also the the little shakiness of the truck too so i apologize about that um but again hopefully i can inspire you make sure you are taking care of your health as a small business owner because that is we have one body and that's all we have so we have to take care of it and we have to prioritize our health so a lot of my research right now has just been increasing my health adding things in to um like decrease the amount of inflammation that i have and all that kind of stuff so that is where that's where pretty much 75 percent of my mind is at right now the other 25 is like oh yeah i own a business I can't not focus on my business. So I'm trying not to get into the point where I research so much to where it gives me anxiety because I do that sometimes as well. So I definitely don't wanna do that anymore. And it's really just a bunch of positive things that I'm researching on, like new recipes I can try. And um, yeah, so uh, if you are going through anything similar, or you wanted to chat or talk about it, feel free to leave it down in the comment section below. I really appreciate those of you that are watching and that care about me so much. I 
just really appreciate that and that's really like who this video is for just my subscribers and people that have been watching me and really follow me and my life and beyond just the candle business stuff so I appreciate you thank you so much for watching today's video it really helps me as well just kind of get out all of this stuff on what's been going on um, and I will see you guys in the next video bye guys